So anyways, guys, um, I wanted to leave you off with this. This isn't much, but I wanted to maybe pull this up so you guys could see this. I wanted to show this one because it ended well. This was one that ended really, really well. And I had a, a friend that had seen some of the memes and things that I was posting, sharing about, about Mulan. I posted something about Mulan and said, now this is good casting. And then I had gotten blasted with a bunch of, of, of stuff about like, like Ariel and Tiana and Pocahontas and stuff. I want to just read this. I'll check back in the comments and then we'll call it a night. All right. So um, it says here, let me see if I could zoom this in. All right. So he says, uh, someone, I'll, I'll keep it anonymous, regarding the, the casting of Ariel says, it's going to happen. So just stop. And you know, Tiana's Pocahontas and Mulan's race is really important to the plot, don't you? Ariel in the books is green. And if you look up the historic background of mermaids, you will soon realize that they are from African culture. She also uh, friends with, she's also friends with Sebastian, who is Jamaican. So my question is, why are you so pissed over it that you spam your entire story with it and spread spreading negativity? Like I already said, not trying to offend you, just want you to understand uh, that you shouldn't be angry because Disney produced white princesses for 80 years and won't change the plot if she's back. And this was the same confusion that we had we had talked about already. But this is what was happening on social media. And I know you guys are going to face this too, okay? So I wanted to show you guys this so you guys can see the conversation that I had that ended up really well. We came to an understanding. And I think we both walked away with our opinion, but we both walked away with something better than that. We walked away with an understanding of the other person's opinion so that we don't walk away thinking like he does right here off the bat where he thinks I was angry or he thinks that I was, I was like pissed off or something. And I was just expressing my opinion here without, without, it wasn't anger, but when it's typed on Instagram that you type, it's hard to tell what people are emoting. And that's, that's why it's really easy to get into arguments over text and then meet the person and be like, dude, I didn't even know you were angry. So let's keep going. It says, it's, I said this, it's not about that. I'm upset because everyone out there is saying, if you don't agree, it's because you are racist. Mermaid lore isn't African. It's oceanic and found in every civilization around the globe from every country with a Navy or exploration crew. I'm not against African so this should say Americans with an N. Um, I don't hate anyone. I hate when people with differing opinions skip the entire debating process and jump right to uh, right to you're an angry racist just because just mad because she's not white. It's not about her being white. It's about her being different than what Disney made her out to be all those years ago. We all love the character and recognize her for who Disney showed us she was. Now they are going to race bend the character. Uh, by the way, Disney is the one who made her into uh, made her a white redhead in the first place. The Jamaican crab can be Jamaican. I would be upset if they changed that uh, because it was original. Do you see my point? I have nothing against the actress or black Disney princesses. They are changing the character. I, I said to follow this up. I said, I'm not mad with you, my man. I'm not even upset at the actress. Any girl would take that job. It's a dream job instead of reasoning with one another to a point of agreeable disagreement. People start calling horrible slanderous names. That part, uh, that part is quite frustrating. If they take Tiana and cast her as a white chick, Asian, Indian, or anything but black, I'm not going to see it. Because it's the same offense to me. It offends the source material. If it's not a main character to me, I can get past it. But someone like War Machine needs to be black. Someone like Shang-Chi needs to be Asian. With characters like Starfire, you can 100% have a black chick play her if she still has the orange skin and red hair. You see what I mean? And then I go on to just share this, this point just to support that because I didn't know how long this person had followed me. I defended Anna Diop. I said the same thing though. Give her orange skin and red hair and make her look like Starfire and it's all good. But they skimped out on the orange skin except for power up scenes. Uh, like when she's powering up in Titans, they she turns a little bit orange like pulsing through her skin. Um, and then it shuts down as soon as she's done. Um, and her red hair looked horrible. Nothing at all like the comics, any of the comics. And that's the problem. 
Uh, she didn't look like Starfire, and Halle Bailey without makeup and CGI doesn't look much like Ariel. I will say her cheekbone shape is good though, and like the face, uh, like the shape of her face and her singing is 100%. And then this person takes the time to go out of their way and just say, I'm really sorry now that I see your view. Today I saw a lot of people who attacked her because of her color and wanted to boycott the movie. They really just uh, hated and I thought you were one of them, so sorry again, bro. And I said, not a problem, my friend. I appreciate, I really appreciate you saying something and engaging my opinion. Um, there are too many people assuming someone's reasonings without taking the time to discuss. Means a lot that you listen. I'm happy to talk and agree or even disagree. I just want people to know the real reason for disagreement is not what everyone is so quick to accuse people of. There is too much of that today, you know? And um, so for me, that that's the point. That, that, that right there was the reason I felt compelled to make this video was because people like you and me, people like some of these guys out here on Instagram, all you see is the headlines. All we see is this right here from Twitter and all these companies that say it's racist to use the hashtag um, and that kind of thing or, or not supporting not supporting Halle Bailey in the role is racist. And that's factually inaccurate. It can be true if it's coming from a place of hate. But to assume that it is, is that it's willful ignorance because you're completely skipping the investigation process. You're skipping the 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 questioning. You're skipping all of the engaging where you reach out to that person and say, hey man, why like why do you feel that way? Like why don't you think she's good for the role? If she if she can sing, if she's got the cheekbones, if she's got the big eyes, if she's got the big smile, she's charismatic and young and thin, and she looks like a, a lot of her qualities are like Ariel, why then is she not Ariel for you? Is it only because of her skin color? Is it her skin and her hair? Or is it just the fact that Disney is willfully ignoring all of the all of the missed opportunity to write stories for black chicks and black families and black kids and and all of that has been skipped and they're basically just hijacking the token redhead of Disney and and basically saying you're no longer a redhead is that it could it be what is your reasoning so i think we just need to stop yelling at each other you know and and ask some questions and just and talk with each other you know um, and I think the fan base is going to be a lot healthier for that. Same with the Star Wars franchise, same with Marvel, same with DC, especially DC. I'm a huge fan of DC, big time fan. And there's a lot of negativity coming out of that one. A lot of a lot coming out of Star Wars too, but it, not all of it is unwarranted. And again, like I said, if you ask the right questions, you'll get the right answers. And I think we can come to understanding. We don't have to come to agreement. I don't even care if we come to agreement, but we have to come to understanding. And that, I think, will turn the tides of the fan base. And I think that's going to give relief to Halle Bailey. If we can all stop bickering about this, she, just, she can stop hearing about it. So that's the thing, right? So anyways, I really hope that was helpful for you guys. I'm going to wrap this up and just check the, um, the last, the final comments. Give my quick thoughts on these and wrap it up. So it says, um, uh, and then it says down here, um, Renato says, good to know. I'll be careful with the words. Renato says, Hey, uh, yeah, I'm going to sleep and watch Far From Home tomorrow. Good night, y'all. And then, uh, dude, enjoy Far From Home. I, spoiler for my next video, not for the movie, but for my video. I absolutely love the movie. I love the movie. And uh, I think you might too. But you let me know and stay tuned for my videos on that because I'm going to make several, tons of videos on Far From Home. And, uh, and then Jashawn King says, that's what I thought. This backlash she's get uh, she's getting is horrible, and I really feel bad for her and her fans. Me too, brother. And so thank you guys so much for joining this video. I think it has been very, very productive, and I hope that you guys get to have fun with the franchise. If you like the, if you like the movie, when we all see the trailer, maybe that'll change everybody's hearts and minds. Maybe we'll all want to go see it because it looks amazing, and Halle Bailey looks great in the role. Who knows how it's going to look. I have faith in Disney. It's a little shaken at this moment, but it doesn't matter. Time will tell. So have your opinion, but let's come to that understanding. 
Anyways, thanks guys. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Also make sure to click the subscribe button if you haven't already. And please turn on notifications so you can be alerted right away when I go live next time. That way you can be a part of this discussion. You can help the conversation moving forward and you can be a part of the stuff of legend. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys stay tuned for more right here on the stuff of legend. Hey guys, D-Lo here. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And remember to share this video with all of your nerd friends. I know you got them, and you know who they are. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought about this discussion. Let me know what you would like to see me do a video on next. Subscribe to the channel because you're a legend, and we have that in common. Also be sure to turn on notifications to be notified right away when I upload my next video, or so that you can be alerted when I go live next time. That way you'll never miss a thing. Check out the other videos on the channel so that we can have a discussion on all your favorite movies and TV topics. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for more right here on The Stuff of Legend.